How can we protect ourselves against viruses? We need to dig deeper to know better. Where do viruses reside? How do they travel? How long do they live? So, viruses essentially reside in the body of the infected human or animal. They are like parasites living off the host organism. In this case, it's the cells of an organ in which the virus resides and replicates itself. The replicated virus looks for more cells to attach to and infect. How do they travel? When an infected person's saliva gets sprayed in the air, tiny droplets of the saliva are sufficient to spread the virus and the infection. A sneeze can release up to 20,000 droplets containing virus particles. That's a lot and these particles could travel as much as 6 feet. So, a simple precaution is to make sure we cover our mouth before sneezing. How do we cover our mouth? Use a tissue. Then, dispose it off into a trash can. But what if you do not have a tissue readily available? A big no-no would be to cough or sneeze into the fist. Think about it. The fist will touch several surfaces and place the virus there for other unsuspecting people to pick up. Instead, use your elbow. So never cough onto your open hands or into the open air. Also, be considerate and turn away from people while sneezing or coughing. Even when we are talking, there's a small amount of saliva being sprayed. So, keep a reasonable distance from each other. And we should all consider wearing a mask. Another common way of getting infected is through touch. We end up touching a surface which is contaminated and then touch our mouth or nose or eyes. That is all that's needed for the virus to be transmitted. So, it's extremely important to avoid touching the face. And if we do touch our face, it's even more important to ensure that our hands are clean. The last transmission method we will look at has to do with food intake. Imagine a free-roaming insect which has picked up the virus from somewhere. This virus will rest in the saliva of the insect. When this insect settles over some fruit, it will transmit the virus onto the surface of that fruit. If we do not wash the fruit thoroughly, the virus will be ingested along with the fruit. And now we come to the last question. How long do you think viruses can survive on various surfaces? It varies. It varies based on the type of surface, the density of the various particles in the spray, and other external environmental conditions like temperature, humidity, sunlight, etc. But studies have shown that viruses could last for as long as 3 days on plastic and over 24 hours on cardboard. So, to sum it all up, the most important takeaway is simple hygiene. We have to make it a way of life. It's for our own well-being and also for the well-being of our fellow people. Sneeze with the mouth fully covered. Keep a reasonable distance from others. Keep hands clean and avoid touching the mouth. Wash all vegetables and fruits thoroughly before consumption. Now before I end this lesson, I have a question for you. To keep your hands clean, which is better? Hand sanitizers or soap and water? In our next lesson, we will compare the two. Stay healthy and stay well to watch the other lessons we've created for this topic.